Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today I want to show you how to do the famous reverse revert trick in Studio One that is so popular in electronic music and walk you through how to do it in Studio One. It just takes a couple of clicks. It's super easy. Just follow along. So I'm working on this bridge here and between bar 28 and 29 I have a bit of dead air, meaning there's not a lot going on and I'd like to transition a bit more into the part that comes up with the vocals. Have a listen. You always knew and you knew again Tapping for to text at 6 a.m. Right, so once the vocals come in, there's a bit of a flow going on, but yeah, here I'd like to keep the listener's attention a bit more. And reverse reverb is one of the most popular techniques to achieve that, but usually it's a bit of a hassle to set it up. You would have to split the first phrase of the vocal performance here, and then what you would traditionally do is you would reverse that, apply a reverb effect on a new track, and then reverse that again, and line it up with the original and then you would get a transition. But in Studio One it's actually way easier than that and I'd like to show you that today. So we just go to the macro bar, that's this button up here, and then you want to go to the Explore Macros page and you should find Apply Reverse Reverb right there. So then we just select with our trusty range tool, the first phrase of our vocal performance. And then we click here where it says reverse reverb. That's gonna trigger the process. And now what I like to do is I hit Command and C on the Mac or Control and C on Windows. This is gonna copy this bit to the clipboard. Then I just hit Command and Z to undo or Control and Z on Windows to undo. This gives me back the original event, but keeps the reverse reverb effect in the clipboard. And now I'll right click the track here, duplicate it and paste with Command and V on a Mac or Control and V on Windows. Now I can just align that to my performance, set a fade in and fade out if I like. And that's pretty much everything that I need to do. And it sounds like this. Right, so that's a super easy, super quick way to use reverse reverb in your productions. Now, if you'd like to alter the reverb effect, then you can just right click the macro right here and then click on edit macro. And in here, you can select the insert event effects command and double click it. And here you can actually just choose any reverb preset of your choice. So if you'd prefer a longer reverb or a different reverb preset, you can just select it from here. You can also select any third party plugin reverb that you might have installed. Finally, if you're looking for an even easier solution, I summarize all of the steps that I've shown you into a macro. So it's really just one button if you want to. And for that, you just go to the clouds tab inside of your Studio One browser, you double click Personas Exchange and you search reverse reverb here in the search field. And you should find apply reverse reverb GBY. I just added that and it's the all-in-one shortcut that does all of these steps in one single click. I just install that like so. Once it's installed, it's going to show up in my keyboard shortcuts. So I can just assign that. I just search GBY. It's right there. Enter any key. I'm just going to go for this one for now could be any other key that you want. You could also add that as a button here to the macro toolbar, of course. And then I just locate the cursor where I want that effect, make my range selection, trigger my shortcut, and all of these steps are done for me. So if you're an electronic musician and you use the reverse reverb trick a lot, I hope this helps you out in accelerating your workflow. And thank you for watching.